Positive psychology using strengths and values to build well-being. Until positive psychology got going in the 1990s, much of psychology was concerned with understanding how problems or illnesses could be cured. And this is because psychology had historically played a, a major role in helping those returning from war with trauma. But to shift away from that in the early 90s, uh, Seligman and Peterson they attempted to classify human strengths. And they looked far and wide, they looked at religion and philosophy, and they came up with 24 character strengths, which they organized into six virtues. And in this workshop, uh, we'll help learners uh, help identify what their personal signature strengths are, uh, learn how to spot strengths in others. Uh, we'll uh, see how we can creatively use strengths in a new way to tackle obstacles uh, and to reach goals. And then we're going to help uh, learners to develop a personal plan to use strength oriented tasks which can be done during lockdown to build personal well-being. And then finally, uh, we're, we're going to teach a, a strengths-based journaling protocol. So studies have shown that using one's signature strengths has a positive effect on a person's subjective and psychological well-being, their vitality and their quality of life.